Hey there everybody, T-Shirt Booth here for GSHelper.com and in this video someone has requested uh, a video on how to do a power meter for a Canon type game so the user will know how much power they're using. Um, so as you see I have a little Canon down here and I have a number on there, 600. Um, so basically I have an attribute called game.power and it's set to 600 so no matter where I shoot let's go ahead and refresh here, no matter where I shoot the power of the ball is always going to be 600. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to change that. So I'm going to hit back, and I'm going to go into my cannon. Um, and this is something that you should have set up. Basically, um, you know, your rotation should be um, mouse position X minus self position X, uh, mouse position Y minus self position Y, uh, with a vector to angle. You probably already have this uh, from the cannon template that's available for free on Game Salad. Um, so what we're going to do is, right now we have an attribute called game.power, and I've set it to 600. But I want the power to be relative to how far um, on the scene you move your finger away from the cannon. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go in here, and in my rule that says when mouse button is down, rotate the cannon, we're going to add a constraint attribute in there. So at the same time it's rotating the cannon to the finger position, I want to create game.power and we want the power to range from the distance of the finger to the cannon. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to use magnitude and um, I'm going to go magnitude and I'm going to get rid of all that stuff so it's magnitude bracket and it's going to be game, sorry device, mouse, position, x, minus Canon or self position X comma then it's gonna be device mouse position Y and it's gonna be minus self position Y close bracket so now I'm gonna show you here when I hit preview the 600 well as soon as I click on the screen the 600 is gonna change and so now the number gets bigger the further away from the Canon I go. Now as you can see all the way to the end is only about 430 you know not a very strong shot. Now I get really close it doesn't really go very far so we're going to edit this a bit. So I'm going to go back into this magnitude and in front of the magnitude I'm going to type in max open bracket zero comma and then we're going to go min and then we're going to do open bracket and then we're going to have the game or sorry the magnitude in there and then after the bracket of the magnitude I'm going to go comma 300 and I'm going to put two close brackets and so now what I've done is I basically said the minimum it could be is zero but now I've said it's going to range in between zero with this magnitude but the max I want it to be is 300 so when I hit OK here and show you preview you'll see that it cannot get higher than 300 now now 300 obviously isn't a lot but it allows me to get my finger almost to the edge of the screen alright which is what we want but we want more power so to simply what we're going to do is we're going to go to the end of this and we're just going to say times 2. Now I'm going to hit preview again. And so now when I get to the edge up here, it's 600. And that's my max. And you can, you can change that um, to whatever you want. But I think 600 for this one's pretty good. Gives you a nice shot. And then that way you can go in here and do a 300 shot. You know, whatever you need. Okay. So now that we have that settled, we're going to get on to the, the part where we show you how to make an indicator for the power. So right now we have the maximum power of 600. All right, so that's a whole number that's perfect. We can work with that. So I'm going to create a new actor, and I'm going to go into this actor, and we're going to call it power. And let's turn it green. And I'm going to go for size. I'm going to say width 100, but height I'm only going to do 8. So we got a nice little power bar there. I'm going to put it right underneath this cannon here. 
that's pretty cool and now I want to constrain the size of this um, in proportion with the camera or sorry with the cannon so I'm gonna say I'm gonna create rule and I'm gonna say when mouse button is down because that's how I aim we're going to constrain the size so power size width to game dot power now this isn't gonna work out very well because our power goes up to 600 so I'm gonna show you when I go to down that's way too big you know it does kinda what we want but it's it's still too it's not it's not good so we're gonna go back and we're gonna say power divided by six and the reason why we're dividing by six is because our power can go up to 600 but our width of this is only a hundred so if we divide 600 by 6 we get a hundred so that's gonna give us a nice small power bar so now as you see I get to 600 it stops there perfect now as you can see it's kind of going in the middle it's not you know it's not it's shrinking from both ends it's not just shrinking from one side so we're gonna fix that now we're gonna go into here and we're gonna tell it to also constrain and we're gonna constrain self position X because X is left and right and I think it's about uh, 15 pixels in we can edit that after so we're gonna constrain its X position to 15 plus open bracket and we need to find half of the width so we're gonna go self size width divided by 2 and then close bracket oh sorry let's go over here again and sorry 15 plus open bracket there we go 15 plus open bracket self width divided by 2 close bracket so now it's gonna be 15 pixels to the left plus half of the width so when I hit preview there you'll see now it now shrinks from the inside and I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the numbers. And we're going to go ahead in here. I'm going to get rid of the display text. And I'll preview again. So when mouse button is down, it's now constraining to the left. I'm just going to go back in here. And we're going to go into here again. Now, I think 15 was a little off, so I'm going to go uh, 10 see if that's a little better it's a little better I'm gonna take it out of the uh, the mouse button is down rule though it's pretty good now what I want to do is I'm gonna go back and I'm going to create another one and I'm gonna call this one power background and I'm gonna make this a dark color and I'll make the size the same 100 by 8 and we'll just go into physics we'll make it not movable now I'm gonna tell this power bar I'm gonna put it back into here and I'm gonna tell this to spawn spawn actor and we're gonna do power background and we're gonna tell it to spawn right behind the power bar so I'm gonna go back of actor so now when I preview you can't see it but it spawned the black power bar right in the back and the reason why we did this is so we can get a nice cool effect just like that so that gives us a really cool effect of a power bar or a power meter um, you know shrinking and enlarging it's pretty cool but that's pretty much all you need to know about setting up an indicator for your power for a Canon type physics game.